Hello, this is Running Robert, and welcome back to Dyson Speeder Program. This is going to be part six. Uh, we are going to be making our way to our first planet. So let's go ahead and kind of get right into it. So uh, where we were when we left off, we are doing some research. It is going well. We are also about to fly. So what we're going to do is kind of go out here and kind of find out where our planet is. And that is a good, a good indicator right there. So we will kind of know where to go. Let's see. Let's go ahead and let's take off. Okay. So let's see. There we go. It's pretty easy to get there right now. We're going to get a little bit of speed. It's going to take us 15, 13 seconds as you see. So pretty simple. If I could actually fly this thing straight. So that's where we're just pretty much going to go for the crash landing. Okay. Let's get an orbit here. Let's kind of look what we have. I see. I'm looking for coal. That's kind of the first thing what we need. Oh, we got the diffract. Oh, right there. Okay, so we're heading on to the planet right here. Sweet. Cool. And we have done our first uh, milestone, which is our first flight. So I looked here. I saw some coal veins. So it's pretty nice. And then we have silicone right here. So it's a good place to start our first little base here. Well, it's pretty good coal supply too so if we remember correctly uh we bought some stuff with us let's go ahead and exit that out let's see uh kind of what we can get uh it's, can you do any better than four we can get six over here we can get five over there so let's go with the six for the moment uh, okay and let's see, I think I brought some reactors. I do will need some, uh, or need reactors. I did not make any of these. I did not. Okay, let's see if we, this could be a very short trip if I didn't go over here. And yeah, we can make five wind towers. That's pretty easy to do. And we can start making our first base here. Let's just use that line. Okay. Let's see. So we got the first bit there done. Let's go ahead and put down some of these generators. Yep. Right now we're going to put down three. Of course, first thing we're going to need is this tower to kind of get going. So we're going to need those wind turbines to kind of go first. And let's see, get one more. I want to connect it to everything, but it doesn't want to connect very well. well. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. That thing's already going. That's wonderful. Let's, see, let's look up here. And I definitely did not prepare for this well enough. That's okay. We're going to get some sorters. We can make up to 200 of them. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Then we found actually I made plenty. The sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between yep. facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply is Okay, and so that's my first. That's my second. And that's my third. Okay. Sweet. And now we have power. Let's get off that building though. This is kind of annoying in this plane a little bit. So what we're here for is the silicone. Like I said, first thing we want to do, make sure we have more than enough power. You can see we are good. We're not even mining right now. So let's go ahead and start building to the power source. Which is our first 1.3 million here. Vials. Let's go ahead. We have this. Let's see if we can get six here. Six here. We can go. We can start with two sixes. I mean, that's pretty nice to begin with. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get them both, but who cares? There we go. Okay. So they can go together. They can go on this line right here. I like to go on the lines. It makes it easy to build. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. So. For the items, the first thing we're going to do is just, all we need is smelters. 
Like that seems like it is about it to start with. So let's go here and let's go ahead and get our first smelters going. And then, of course, we're going to kind of just go up there for the moment. Connect the power. And I don't like this area at the moment. Just because of all the green, so let's go ahead and let's get the silicone going. Silicone. And silicone. Okay. So, first silicone bars are made. We're going to go ahead and stack up a couple of these just so we can... Oh, that's what I got at the moment. We'll get one more on this side. There we go. And then power supply. Okay. So we are now making our first silicone bars. Which is great. We like it. Not a problem. So what do we really need silicone for? You know, that's, I guess, the next question of of all the stuff that we're looking at. You know, we don't really need it that much. We do need some. Let's see. I believe we will need it. Ah, for chips. We'll need it for chips and we'll need it for these components. So those are the two things we'll need. This is pretty much two silicone and one copper, which is good. I think there's a copper vein right here. And then from there, we make regular chips and those special chips to make the processors. And that's really going to help us start uh, with a lot of other buildings in the way. So now we have that kind of made. We have a 1.5 million right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get him going. So, like I said, we can keep one of these for... Uh, for silicone construction, which is fine. And then one we can actually make more chips out of. So six is right there. That's pretty good. We're just going to kind of go on the line, just like I was doing before. And let's go ahead and get some smelters going. Then we're going to actually build an underneath line. Because we're not going to go very far here. We're just going to kind of these together at some point so I can kind of build it all together attach it with some power one two there we go okay so let's go ahead let's get the copper get the copper we're gonna put that on that underneath line there Great, now we're making copper bars. And here, we're just gonna kinda make that right there. Okay. So maybe a little bit slow with this, just because we're making two. Uh, we can we can speed this up. This does not seem to be a lot of silicone coming in here. There's 90. And there's 90. I want to keep some for later. We actually might cheat a little bit here. Let's extend this line out just a little bit. Let's go ahead and make one of those. Connect them. And then we're going to pretty much just make him a direct line over there just to make life easy Let's see there we go and like I said this will help pretty much I want to keep some silicone on just in case but then make more okay great that is now moving it looks like we're just only using one of these bays at the moment, which is perfect. So we could actually expand this if we really wanted to, but I think we're okay for the moment. Check power supply, 100% satisfaction, great. Okay, so now that we have both of these, let's see, let's go to uh, production. 
And let's get this one to begin with. I want you to make this chip. Takes two and one. So we're going to go ahead. Oh. I'm clicking the wrong one. Oh, that's why. I need one and two. And yep, he's going to make the chip, but we need a little more power to him. So let's extend this out just a little bit more. Because I want to build the second one of those. Let's go over here. Go here. Let's produce five of this. I got plenty of stuff. That's why I did it. And then over here. We're going to be putting this stuff down. There we go. And that's kind of, that's what I need. Okay. Back to production. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, so I got a little base going here. It looks pretty nice. We're doing what we need to. We're getting extra silicone, which is nice for when I just need it. And then we're doing production. Uh, looks like research has stopped for the moment. So let's go ahead and see what we can actually get from here. Uh, what do we need next? We don't have any of those right now, so that can sit for a little bit. Uh, titanium? I think titanium's next. Let's go ahead and activate that. Uh, we have some research, so we're just going to keep that. Keep watching it up here. I do not have any red cubes. Hopefully, we've uh, gotten some ready for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and it's going to build a second assembly. And the same thing will go in here. We'll go ahead and just stick it up. And it will make more of those. But of course, we will need power. And we're going to put one over here. Okay, so for the moment, we're just going to put this stuff in a box. Just because I don't really have the other part set up yet. And I just don't want this to sit. There we go. Okay. Woo! Great start. Okay, so we are making our first uh, microcrystalline components. That is a good start there. Like I said, we now need to make uh, the circuit board so we can add them all together. And so let's look at the planet for a quick. Uh, what I need to do is find the iron ore, which there's not a lot, but thankfully, there's one right over here. There's also what... Or two four hundred thousand there. There's another four hundred thousand there. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this one up because it's pretty close to where the base is. We're also gonna check on this guy because we were definitely six out of three. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead. First thing, power cords, power cords, power cords. Our cords. I need to make more of these. Yeah, it should be the last one we need right there. Let's go ahead and make them while we're thinking about it. Yeah, 20s should be fine. Yeah, not a very big vein, unfortunately. So we're going to have to see what we can get. That is six out of the eight. Not bad. Okay, so again bring this out just a little bit and put my smelters of course these are just simple enough it's nice that we have like one point something million there we're just gonna go ahead and put this guy down there and seven of these so i am definitely Pretty well taken care of as far as stuff. Okay. Yep. We're making the first bit of that. We're just going to follow the road here. I know where the base is, so that's good. Let's go look. We were trying to get to that copper supply right there. Uh, let's go up there. I want to get these guys first. I don't want anything. To, I don't want any of these bots to have to go that far. So there we go. 
Titan wonderful. Okay. Uh, while that is going, we got high strength titanium, which is our first yellow, which we're not even close to. Didn't mean to press escape. Um, high speed processing? Okay, could be useful. Proliferator, which we really don't deal with. Polymers, 400 400. This is good because we can start making organic crystals, uh, which is very useful. Uh, X-ray cracking gets us stuff. Hydrogen fuel rod. That is kind of where we need to go next. 400 reds. Uh, boy, it's a lot of reds. I don't know if I have that many reds at home. I don't need that yet, but you know what? This is probably what is next because it's hydrogen and titanium. And this is going to really help us in the uh, power category because obviously you see I'm still pretty much based on coal. And that is not what you want to be. Okay, so this is going well. Let's see. Let's keep on building. Like I said, I'm just kind of building on this line. <laughs> oh, I messed it up. That's okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. So it seems like this is pretty good, but it, it looks like it probably will need a little bit more. So I think I'm going to go ahead and tap this, coal, this resource right here to give power and just make a small little building center. Pretty much it's going to mirror what I already have. So five. Because there's my chips right there, so I can just bring them all together. That's one and two. Let's, let's go over there. Boom and boom. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and put these guys now together. You know what might help? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, great, 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 okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put a couple of these down. Oh, and you can see by that I'm starting to run through my power supply. That is not good, but we're just going to finish this off and then we'll address power. So let's go put him right there. Because as you see, power is five... So yeah, we're, we're going to have to address that. Looks like it's kind of moving. Okay. And chips are always good to have on any planet. The chips and chip. Okay. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is do the same thing here. And we're going to get that up to uh, this line at the moment. We'll put them both there. That's fine. There we go. Oh, oh already have 300 of those processors. That's nice. I do need a little more storage. So let's go ahead. Let's see if we can build a couple of those. Yep. 30 seconds. Okay. Research looks like it's going well. I do want this to kind of back up just a little bit. Let's just press escape here. What's happening here? We're not actually getting a lot of silicone, unfortunately. It looks like that one is eating up most of it, and this one is just not getting enough to really provide. So let's go ahead and... Oh, we knew that would happen. Okay. Ooh, what happened? I'm not sure what happened.
Huh. Something happened. That is very strange. Um, I think because the power is just a little bit too much for it when it's fully going, so let's go ahead and let's uh, get another set of stations here. I think that's probably the easiest thing to do. And again, like I said, just add more thermal power plants. And this should really... Oh, let's go with that. Let's go. 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 Okay. Yeah, now more than enough. Okay, so we're good there. Okay. Go ahead and let's fly a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of this issue now. Um, we're going to put that there. Going to connect him to there, connect him to there. And make more. We can extend this, I think, a little bit more to make one more of these. Where is it? Right there. I think we're more than that. Like I said, I see only one moving. I don't see the second one having to supply it at all. So that makes me feel pretty good about doing this. And again, we'll just double connect it there. And let's just fix it up. And of course, power it up. And boom. Okay. So that power grid's pretty good right there. We're gonna take that away. And this planet must be permanently like shrouded a little bit. Because I have not seen it actually hit the sun. And I don't think it does. I think it's really hard because it is the sun and it has to pretty much orbit this at the same time it's orbiting, and it's just not working. Okay. okay. So let's see. Let's get those guys going. Okay, great. Great, great. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to put some processors in a box because I want to. Okay. Okay, so next step. Is the main processors now. So let's go ahead and let's connect this to there. This to there. And you're kind of thinking, well, this is going to be kind of slow because you're boxing it up and everything like that. It is because they run the same speed, so it should. We'll work on that in a little bit to make sure that there's not a huge backlog, as you can see there currently is. There's ways around it. I will show you how to do some of them. Okay, so another production machine here. Press both of those in there. And what I want you to make is the normal processor. And this is where it's gonna stop because we're gonna make it and we're just gonna store it away. And once I hook it up to power, We will make our first processor. Nice, another little uh, thing done there. Okay. Okay, so now we can deal with this backlog just a little bit. We said we have almost 250 of those. Uh, this one requires two and two. So it should be pretty even with what we give. This one is, like I said, it's staying at 36 because only one is going we can do a little work with that and uh, pretty much the best way to do it here <laughs> is just to build and we actually have run out of these so we're gonna go ahead and build more than enough what we're gonna do is connect him to there connect him to there and now that will pretty much connect into there 
and it's good wherever the processors come from. I'm okay with it. If this is not going fast enough, this will be fine. And we, we're pretty much getting our first processors, and I'm okay kind of sitting on them for the moment. So it looks like it's... Uh, let's see, what are our, what is the speed? This is building at 15 a minute. Needs 2 and 2. This is making 22. For 1. And this one is making 22 a minute for 1. Okay. So together they're making about 50. So they should make just a little bit more than what I need for that. And these 45 a minute are, they will definitely overpace what I have going on here. So as you see, that's now speeding up as I've kind of helped take care of that backlog. I will probably get rid of this in a little bit, but for the moment, I'm okay with it. Yep, okay. We can go ahead and just sort this out a little bit. Yep, I know the research speed is too slow. I need to come back and work on the reds. And I think that is really what I'm going to be doing in the next video. So um, at the moment, what we're going to do, I'm going to take 200 processors with me. I'm going to go with that. Right now, I'm okay with the 200 and the 70 I have plus oh, 70. 200 ish I have there. That's fine. And we're going to leave it at that. So let us now head back to the home planet. Everything here is running well. Plenty of power, plenty of stuff to do. Let's go ahead and go to the solar system and head back home. That's pretty easy flight. Up we go. Okay. Let's get flying. Let's get a little more power into it. Gravity's kind of knocking me out. Okay. Oh, and look at that. Landing right where I need to land. Right back home. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what we're going to do now... Let's go ahead and fly for a second. Let's see what we have. There's my red base up there. Slowly making red cubes. And the beautiful sunrise to kind of end it up here. But... Really, what's hurting me is I have no fuel tanks going on there. That's a good start. We're going to get that later, but as you can see, even with both of these going... The data shows this is a planet without natural titanium veins. Perhaps you can get some by collecting gravel. If you need a massive titanium collection, you need to find a planet rich with titanium veins as soon as possible. Okay. So, my biggest problem here, like I said... The moment it goes in, it goes right out. So I think in the next episode, what we're going to be definitely producing is these refractometers, which will need steel and processors, which we just got. So that is going to be pretty awesome to be able to make. But we will go ahead and make that next time. So, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you for the next part.